2,000 baby boomers are becoming seniors every day, and many of them wish to age in their current homes, which means it may be time to start thinking about making a few upgrades. Hi, I'm Wanda Gods with Golden Age Living. I'm a residential interior designer, a certified aging in place specialist, and an educator. In the United States, in 2025, half of our population will be over the age of 65. Florida is one of the top states with people aging. We look at clever, stylish, and safe options for senior living on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to Soplo Home Project, I'm Elena Capra. While many seniors wish to remain in their own homes as their lifestyle changes, some may choose to move in with loved ones. And this may require some design updates to meet the needs of the entire family. Today we have expert advice on how to redesign your home for aging in place, home update ideas for multi-generational families, the latest senior living design trends, and much more. So we're joined today by interior designer as well as certified aging in place specialist, Wanda Gatz. Wanda, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Thank you, I'm excited to be here today. Well, we're excited to have you because the aging in place and universal design principles are really things that can make growing old in your home comfortable for anyone who occupies the home, right? Yes, yes. I define aging in place as the ability to remain in your home as your lifestyle changes over time. I figured we could start first with the entryway of a property because that's really the first point of where it all begins. Yes, entryway is really critical. The marker that marks what it is is a person using a wheelchair. So how does a person using a wheelchair come to your home and access it? One is that we have a zero step entry coming into the home. So here we have yes. a ramp. Nice the ease. second one is a travel path, meaning the hallway is wide enough. And our floor should have, again, a transition. So if we're changing material, meaning going from wood to cork, then we have to have transition. Quarter inch is the best one, beveled, or no transition at all. So Wanda, it's not just about accessibility into the home, but then once you get in the type of materials that we're selecting and using, specifically the flooring, because this is a very interesting material. Yes, the purpose of the floor is to provide comfort. So it is a cork floor. Why do we want it? Because it's comfortable when we're walking on the floor and, and we're standing on it when we're preparing food. One of the issues is if we have knee issues, meaning that the floor, the harder the surface, the harder it is on our knees. It's also a great look. Cork is a, a mm -hmm. cool looking material. Now, speaking of flooring and when we talk about aging in place design, is contrasting the flooring something that should be done in certain points of entry? Unfortunately, as we grow older, our eyes change. And so color contrast is the feature that allows us that transition. If we have light furniture, then we want a darker floor. Depth perception yes. is the biggest thing, challenge that we're facing. So color contrast plays such a critical role. And color contrast can be anything color, can be light, so we can use light as color contrast, and then we can use texture as color contrast also. So lighting is a big part of being able to kind of walk through a pathway into a room or an entry of a home. Important one in lighting, number one, I'm gonna say wayfinding. We can do it on the ceiling or we can do it on the floor. So we could put it around an island, so that would be a perfect place. Under At nighttime, if cabin. someone wants to go get a glass of water, which is gonna be safety, and it's gonna provide ease of use. So we're gonna continue talking aging in place tips, universal design principles when we come back. Coming up, we look at smart and sleek senior living design solutions on SoFlo Home Project.
In addition to the moving services, we also provide storage services for clients that are not quite ready to move into that new home. Maybe it's still in a construction or they just haven't found the place to move into yet and they need their items placed in a safe, secure location in the interim. We make it really easy for homeowners to store their items because we actually come to the house to pick it up. Many other facilities require for you to bring it to them or they'll drop a container to your house and you still have to load it. So we'll pick up the items, we'll wrap them, we'll protect them and they'll remain wrapped and protected unlike if you drop it off elsewhere. So we welcome you to come visit our facility. It's safe, secure, with the latest technology. And of course, we always sanitize the containers anytime we bring a new customer in and out of our facility. At Good Greek Storage, our facilities are clean, secure, and monitored 24 hours a day by closed circuit television. Of course, they're alarmed and all that, but we also have on-site personnel 24 hours a day inside the facility and the sheriff's office patrols the exterior. Good Greek Moving and Storage, this is Shirley speaking. Good Greek offers short-term and long-term storage because we know that different clients require different needs. Uh, we deal with uh, customers that are uh, having to deal with death or a divorce situation and sometimes they don't really know how long they're going to need to have their items in storage. And uh, oftentimes it might be just an overnight situation. So we can help people whether it's short-term or long-term. When a customer is ready for their belongings, they'll simply call us uh, or email us in advance and uh, we'll accommodate the date they're looking for. And at that time, we'll deliver all of their belongings inside the house and place and set things up where they belong. We welcome you to come and take a look at Good Greek Storage and then go take a look at the others. And I think the choice is going to be very, very simple that Good Greek Storage is going to be the way to go. Good Greek moving and storage, your superhero movers. back to Sofla Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are continuing our day of talking about aging in place and multi-generational design with interior designer Wanda Gotts as well as certified aging in place specialist. Wanda, so you are well versed in this topic and I think in the kitchen there are so many things that can be done whether it's small tweaks or when you're remodeling and redesigning the kitchen, make it good for all members of the family to use. It. This kitchen is basically multi-generational because we have three different types, grandma, family, and grandchildren that are living under one roof. So it was designed to accommodate all lifestyles. So we can start with cabinets that are easy to uh, pull and handle. We've got open space so we can see what we have as so the far visual as aspect. For the visual aspect. For serving and entertaining, which this family does, we have a two drawer refrigerator so that when we have to transfer and put food there, we don't have to walk from across easier. the kitchen. And I, I want to talk about this side because we have a lot of appliances in this kitchen. Starting with the, the raised dishwasher. So it benefits the end user being able to bend down to store or put the food up to put our dishes in there allows anyone in different height levels easier to, to reach. easily more ease ergonomic of use. To load. That's right. And ease of use here with the microwave. The hot plates are coming out at surface level instead of reaching up. Yes, the wonderful thing is it has a landing pad right underneath it so you could pull out the space in order to um, transfer. Um, whatever you want. Really this is play. great. So Take you something out, you've got choices on either side it's that all about we can those transfer. Options. This looks like a chalkboard here. And what a great kind of fun way to display messages in the kitchen. Yes, and it's a storage area, so if you close the tray underneath okay. and you pull it out, then it allows you to store the appliances that you use. So appliance garage. Appliance garage that pulls out and then we immediately transfer Perfect. onto a dish and easily then transfer onto a table. This is such a great design feature for just about any kitchen. And this like just easily allows you to not even have to see it when you're done. about this concept here. We're yeah. talking about a multi-generational kitchen. Husband is a chef, he loves to cook, so mom wanted to be able to cook for herself also independently in the aging in place kitchen. 
really the induction whether it's the induction stove top is the first option that I would look for because that's a safety Safe issue. Gas can have that's some the number one, that, and yeah. no one has to worry about again. If do we leave the burner on? What's so great about this? You've got that butcher block top, so you could easily use this as a prep area. What the chef wants to be able to do is to prepare his food, cut it up, and then be able to transition over to sauteing or washing or cleaning over here. So instead of him standing up, he would be able to take the chair, sit in it, and then just basically just roll right over. over and roll over. And over here, a secondary, a third sink actually, not secondary, third sink, right? Yes, and that's multifunctional also. And what I love about this particularly, and I think to our viewers, this is a great, kind of a great design idea that we don't get to see every day. As you traditionally think about a pot filler behind a stove, and that's sometimes hard to get to for some people. Also, this pot filler moves over to the stove, so the chef can fill it off at the stove level over there. Too. So that's central location. Yeah. So now the kitchen is definitely the heart of the home and one specific room that you could really bring in aging in place design principles. But the bathroom is another one, and we're gonna take a look at that when we get back. Coming up next, we have the latest trends in stylish, code-compliant hardware on Sofa Home Project. So we're here today at Impel America Appliances in Doral, joined by Lazaro Del Pino, the general manager. Lazaro, welcome. Thank you very much for being here, Elena. What I'm looking at right here is an amazing range. So why don't we jump into some of the features? Here we have a 48 inch dual fuel range by Decor, where you have your six gas burners, electric griddle, 30 inch true European convection oven. Now it is Wi-Fi capable as well. Turn on the hood by just turning on one of the burners. But not only that, Elena, Decor right now has a great, great incentive to the consumer is the 5, 10, 20. So what is that program? If you spend $20,000 or more, you can even get 20% mailing rebate back. Wow. That's a lot of money. That is a huge savings. A lot of savings. So Elena, here is the new 24 inch fully integrated push to open refrigerator by Decor. This. So Lazaro, obviously this is beautiful, but I know it's more than just a beautiful appliance. There's a lot of features in here, right? First of all, you have a full stainless steel interior, LED lighting all throughout the front of the unit. You have internal water dispenser and two cameras that will take a snapshot of the interior of the refrigerator every time you close the door and send it to your phone so you see what you have inside when you're in the supermarket. I mean, that's great. Who, when you need those last minute items, I mean, you don't have to remember anything, just have to check the app, right? Check the app, absolutely. So Lazaro, where are we headed next? There's so many things to see here, I know. As I told you, the technology doesn't stop on the fridge only. We now have the Combi Steam Oven by Decor. As you can see on the top here, full function microwave, but it's also a full function convection oven, air fryer in here as well. Clean up the countertop. Absolutely. So Lazaro, most importantly, how do homeowners find you and get to see all of these great appliances under one roof? Visiting our showroom here in the beautiful city of Doral, inside the Florida Design Center, you will find Impel America appliances. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. I've learned a lot. There's so many great new things in appliances, and hopefully our viewers get a chance to find some great ones of their own. And thank you for being here, Elena. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Alina Capra, and we are here with interior designer and certified aging in place specialist, Wanda Gotts. Wanda, so before the break, we talked about kitchens being one of the rooms in the home that you want to make small changes to be able to kind of bring those universal design principles in, as well as for aging in place in the home, multi-generations of the family living in that space. But when it comes to another room, the bathroom is really another space where, of course, safety is an important factor and we've got things like grab bars and rails. So what I want to basically show you is a uh, 
different type of handrail or can be used as a grab bar. So the difference between a grab bar and a rail is that a grab bar is used for short distance and a rail is used for continuous movement. So this happens to be, again, different types of finishes, a wood finish, a smooth finish. If I'm doing the rail going down the stairs, I have an elbow, so that allows me to transition from one level to the other. So this comes with all the parts and pieces it comes, to yes. kind of follow the yes. hallway and path or right. stairway. We talk about aesthetics. Of course, we want to make a home safe, but this allows you to bring in that safety, but also enhance your decor as well as tie in other finishes that you have. So that's that brush right. nickel, matte yeah. black, wood inserts, a little bit of everything. It has a hand grip underneath because we need traction. The other is that they also come with light inserted. So if you want so you to can use get that it pathway exterior, lighting that we talked about. You got that wayfinding that we need. Now, so we got some great options with rails and we also talk about grab bars, uh, usually in bathrooms, shower areas, but toilet area. But those have also become quite stylish. We have seen them in a variety of finishes and styles, some of them almost look like towel bars, but just thicker. What we'll be seeing in the future is that we will be needing a caregiver to assist us with bathing. So that so means no curves. No curves. And that's why we're making the showers larger. So and we're making them barrier free because the person has to step in or the person has to walk in themselves or somebody has to get wheeled in. So, so in this case, floors all level with the shower floor. But when you do a barrier free shower, it also brings a great aesthetic look. We've talked about about this whole balance between aesthetic and safety. Next, we have the latest solutions for bathroom accessibility on SoFlo Home Project. SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are continuing to talk about universal design and aging in place design principles with interior designer and certified aging in place specialist Wanda Gotts. Wanda, so we had talked about bathroom design and bringing in some aging in place types of principles for that. It's not always about being able to put backing in the wall and have those grab bars and all of those things, but maybe changing out a vanity that makes it easier for all users of the bathroom. That's right, and those tasks are a safety feature and we wanna be comfortable. So being able to have choices of what kind of vanities we are available for us. Absolutely, and as we saw in the kitchen, varying heights make the kitchen very user friendly for every generation using the kitchen. But for the bathroom, we were over at Cavis a few months back and we saw some pretty cool new products and vanities that make varying heights and accessibility a little easier. We're here at Cavis touring the latest in kitchen and bath trends and products. So follow me and check out something really cool here. So I'm here with Bill Spites, Vice President with Nobilia. One of the best things about German engineering is not so much the beauty on the outside, but the functionality on the inside. We're one of the first people that have uh, a really well-engineered ADA solution. And that ADA solution, from the outside, hard to tell. Absolutely. From the inside, oh. this uh, knee shield drops down and becomes the floor of a standard cabinet if the user is not in need of an ADA. So it is absolutely convertible. As a certified master kitchen and bath designer, I have designed a lot of ADA kitchens and baths, and the requirements sometimes change the overall look. This gives you both options. So one of the other features of our product that I find just absolutely incredible is the insides and the durability. So this wow. is one of our standard drawers. <laughs> that just pops up, but just it's sturdy out, and strong. Cleans, feel how heavy it is. Oh wow, this is really durable. This is unbelievably durable. And it doesn't take any tools whatsoever to make this thing go back in. Look just at that. Just pops in, any homeowner can clean out a drawer just like that. And it's got this, all the soft clothes, all the features that you want yes. as well. Bill, thank you so much for sharing with us, not only the beauty, but the functionality of the Nobilia cabinetry. You're absolutely welcome, thank you. So it's always so exciting to see what new innovations there are for all types of design in the home, specifically universal design. You know, we have so many choices today because there's now products that will allow us to uh, different ways in which we can adapt that environment. Definitely. One of the coolest things is a lot of the times they are products that are not only safe, 
adaptable, but beautiful as well. So uh, that's what we want. It brings it, all of those things. We want a beautiful environment in which we can be safe and secure. Definitely. Now, Wanda, I want to thank you so much. You shared so many great tips and great insight with our viewers. So we really appreciate you being here with us today. Thank you. Thank you. And now let's take a look at what design inspiration we have planned for you next week on SoFlo Home Project. We look at creating an experience through design. Each room in your home has a role to play and your decor choices will help set the right mood. And before we go, let's check in with our friend Hunter Frankie, the host of SoFlo Health, and see what he's up to tomorrow. Hunter, what's up? Hey there, Elena. On this week's episode of SoFlo Health, we go plane watching at a park next to the airport. Which airport, which park? Well, you have to watch tomorrow to find out. Plus, we spend some time with Grace Foods and we try some healthy Jamaican cuisine. Then we incorporate two workouts, one with trampolines, the other with dumbbells. It's all tomorrow right here at 12.30 p.m. on the one and only Local 10 for SoFlo Health. Thanks, Hunter. We'll definitely be watching. And to our viewers, we thank you for joining us this week. And we hope to see you again next week for another all new episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like SoFlo Home. If you missed any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloShows.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram. 